In this video, we will show you how to safely mount, secure, and wire the SolarEdge Home Backup Interface. In the example, we will focus on the three-phase product and highlight the relevant changes needed for the single-phase product installation. Here are the tools that you will need for the procedure. Now, let's see what's in the package. The backup interface, a wall-mounted bracket, a lower bracket, and an installation guide. Position the mounting bracket against the wall, level it, and mark the drilling hole locations. After drilling the holes and inserting plugs, mount the bracket. Use at least two bracket holes. If using only two holes, use the left and right ones. Verify that the bracket is firmly attached to the mounting surface. Hang the backup interface on the bracket. Place the lower bracket into position and mark the location. Drill the hole and place a plug. Place the lower bracket on the backup interface and tighten it with a screw. Now, let's get to know the bottom interface. Communication gland, the on-off P-switch, the grid gland, and lastly, the load gland. Using an M5 Allen key, open the six screws on the front cover. Release the front cover. As you can see, there are two sections inside the backup interface, the upper section and the lower section. Note that it is forbidden and dangerous to open the upper section. Only the lower section is for user interface usage. Using an M4 Allen key, loosen the lower cover screw and remove the cover. Let's get to know the user interface. The upper terminal is where you connect the load. The middle terminal block is for the grid line. The lower terminal block is for the neutral and ground lines. In the one-phase product, you can see there is only a single line. You should connect it the same way. The upper terminal is for the load, the middle terminal is for the grid, and the lower terminal is for the neutral and ground. The backup interface comes with a built-in SolarEdge Home Network Communication Module. If your inverter or firmware version does not support SolarEdge Home Network, use this connector to wire between the backup interface and the inverter. For ease of installation, it is recommended to start with the grid connection. Make sure that the grid's main circuit breaker connected through the cable is off. For the three-phase product, both the grid cable and the load cable that will be connected should have an outer diameter of 14 to 25 millimeters and a cable cross-section of 6 to 16 square millimeters. For the one-phase product, the outer diameter should be 14 to 22 millimeters and the cross-section should be 6 to 25 square millimeters. First, let's connect the grid cable to this terminal. For the ground wire, it is recommended to strip 120 to 150 millimeters of the external cable insulation. For the rest of the cables, 100 millimeters should be enough. Then, strip 8 millimeters of the internal wire insulation. If needed, crimp the wire ferrules. Open the grid gland and insert the grid cable. Connect the ground wire first. For all AC cables, use a torque of 6 newton meters. This is how to connect the grid cable in a single phase backup interface. Now, let's connect the load cable to this terminal. The load neutral should be connected according to your local grid regulation. In the case that in a backup event, it is required to make a local short between neutral and protective earth in order to create local pen, for example on TNS and TT topologies, connect the neutral to the top right neutral terminal. In case it is required to continue the supplied grid pen, please connect the load neutral to the lower neutral terminal block. In any case, please consult your local grid operator for their recommended connection. 
In the example shown, it is required to make a short between neutral and protective earth, so we will connect the neutral to the upper right terminal. Now, open the load gland and insert the load cable. As with the grid cable, you should also connect the ground wire first. In the single phase product, the load neutral connection has the same two options as on the three phase product. In the case that in a backup event it is required to make a local short between neutral and protective earth, connect the neutral to the top right neutral terminal. If it is required to continue the supplied grid pen, connect the load neutral to the lower neutral terminal block. In any case, please consult your local grid operator for their recommended connection. In case your system doesn't use SolarEdge Home Network, you need to connect the backup interface to your inverter using an 8-wire cable. SolarEdge recommends CAT5E or CAT6. Now open the communication gland and insert the communication cable. Pull out the communication connector. Connect the cables to the G, A, B terminals and 12 volts on the top row. To connect the A and B pins, SolarEdge recommends using the same twisted pair. Make sure that you connect the connections the same way for both the backup interface and the inverter. Now, close the inner cover. Close the top cover. That's it! You're all done! Join us for the next video in this series, where we will guide you step-by-step -step through the SolarEdge Backup Interface commissioning process.